morning good morning good morning guys how are you doing welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel let's do life with niche today is monday the kids have closed school yeah they are here they are at home parents now you can feel eh you can feel it <laughs> we just started i'm almost taking my breakfast i'll show you what i'm taking guys these people when they are out there they just mess up my my routine of eating healthy but <laughs> let me tell you i'm just trying I, i'll try my level best not to fall into their trap um for the parents let me tell you uh, if you stay at uh, ungata rongai there's a program for the youths from form one to form three they have a program this week from monday to friday sorry i didn't do this uh video yesterday so i wanted to tell you yesterday so that if you have a chance if you are if your son your daughter or your sibling is out here just keep them busy because uh, from today they have a program starting from uh, 1 p.m to 4 30 i guess and tomorrow they have another one from 9 a.m to 1 and the other day they are from 1 p.m to four and then the, the other day they have another one from 9 a.m to i'll put the program here so that if you feel like your son your daughter or your sister your brother is out here and he maybe yeah to keep to keep them busy not the so that they don't just be stuck on tv and doing some stuff so that they go there and mingle and meet other guy uh, other students and make friends and learn a lot a lot they have a pro programs there by the way very very nice programs so i'll put uh, the program here so that you can see you don't have to be a catholic this is a saint mary's catholic church so you don't have to be a catholic you just go there it's a it's a common thing for the youth yeah there's music there's talent there's a uh, motivational uh, those kind of stuff so you don't have to be a catholic you just have to you just have to go there because they are not doing the catholic way they are just doing it like a, a kawida way so today guys i want to take a breakfast which i have here uh with these guys over here at home and then um uh, i do a few uh just a little bit of cleaning and see how the day goes but what i wanted to tell you is at the, when I'm doing my uh, my utensils, my when I'll be doing my dishes, I noticed like I have so many of those um are they yellow or kind of those cups which don't miss in the homes. I'll tell you the story of those cups in my house. I ended up uh, having so many of them in my house because I didn't have any in my house. I'll tell you a story when I'm doing the dishes. Let me show you what we are having for breakfast. See here. You see these guys, what they make me, <laughs> if I tell you the story. From Friday, I was like, I'm starting the 21 days of wheat, of no wheat, no sugar challenge. And I was like, I'm going out, I might take something of sugar. So I skipped, I said, I'll start on Tuesday, on Saturday. On Saturday, here I am, I made chapos. So I had to taste. So I said like, uh, I'll start uh, Jana on Sunday. <laughs> Sunday, I tasted something also of wheat. Now I said, no, on Monday, seriously, I'll state this challenge on Monday. Now you see, today is Monday. Here there are the chapos. Yes, and I'm going to eat one. So meaning I'll start my challenge tomorrow. <laughs> Just help me God so that I don't keep on pushing it forward. Ah, but here we have the chapos, we have tea, I don't take tea. You see what I take? Porridge. You see that cup, guys? Yes. <laughs> that cup is mine for porridge, and then I have some the leftover beans and uh, a fruit. Of course, banana. As you know, I'm from Kisiland, so me and bananas, we are one. And then this juice and... This is not even mine. The tea is not even mine. The chapos I'll just take maybe half. I'll not take one by there. Take a half and then the beans and then the banana. So guys, I thought, I tried so much to eat healthy. But 
oh what was I funga shule i don't know what i'll do but i'll i'll try my best and then i'll be gymming like every day today i didn't go because uh I had so much to plan them out here, how they are going to be like the whole week. And my, my son's starting their, that program at the church, so I had to plan myself so so that I start going to the gym tomorrow and doing other stuff. So guys, tell me how you eat healthy or do you really do? <laughs> because sometimes you just feel like, ah today i'll start the gym today i'll be starting eating healthy today i'll just start eating like um no sugar things no wheat but here you are just like me but it's only for today i promise from today i'll show you by the way i just keep my promise from tomorrow i'm doing my 21 days of no sugar no wheat challenge and then i'll be gymming also so guys, let's take breakfast and I'll see you when I'm doing the dishes. And here guys, I decided to remove my carpet and air it outside because I have someone who can assist me. Before I go to do the dishes, at least I get some motivation when someone is around to assist me. Uh, this carpet is so big, uh, doing it alone, uh, it's so hectic. And now my motivation dance, like really I need some motivation. Some days you feel like you're so down. <laughs> Who does this? <laughs> I have to motivate myself. You have to be your own cheerleader. Yeah, you do it by yourself. You make things happen. That is me. And now I started cleaning, guys, everywhere. There's some construction going on at our place. So everything is so dusty. Kuna vumbi kila mahali. Like uh, the house is so dusty. Even if you clean. But I've taken some time before I cleaned. So today I had to clean like everything. Every part of the house.
guys i'm done uh cleaning the living room i'm in the kitchen i want to do the dishes now i want to tell you a story oh okay the bedrooms i i left my son to clean because he's at home I, I have to keep him busy before he goes off to church guys and let me tell you when you have kids in at home like this time please engage them let them know like uh they have to work even if it is doing something let them do anything in the house let them help especially if you are not around do them give them give them a chores to do at home yeah just keep them busy so that they know they grow up in a good way and uh most of this holiday is so long you don't want to raise kids who just sit at the television just there yeah and you come and you cook for them they eat and then they sit no that is not how we were raised we were raised to do to work now let them work let them know like uh people have to work they have to do one two three things yeah that is how they they will grow up uh, knowing that they have to be responsible doing some things because let me tell you guys we are raising um someone like you are raising someone his husband you are raising someone his wife you don't want your child to go and be married to someone who is who doesn't know anything who is not responsible and we are crying here men are too irresponsible women are too irresponsible they they don't know what to do as wives they're so dirty they don't know how to clean they don't know how to do this and this so let's make uh, let's make our kids responsible by training them at an early age uh, on what they should do on what they are supposed to do yeah from five years six years you tell them to do this this and this and they'll do it by the way so hamia um i want to do dishes and i wanted to tell you a story of my plastic do i call them plastic i guess they are plastic cups like how i ended having them <laughs> these are the cups i'm talking about guys i think you know them these cups here that is my sink i have to do the dishes this is these are the cups i'm talking about imagine i used to see like people have these cups before i got this one and then one day before taskies closed i went to taskies and i bought this one i loved it so much and then now let me start doing the dishes and then i tell you the story of the others oh guys after i got this cup uh i loved it so much then i was like um okay i had this one and then i was like i'll buy each and everyone a cup this type of cup <laughs> i didn't know but um when i got my second baby uh you know i was doing business but now because i was doing online business i used to sell shoes shoes are uh, mostly yeah that time now i stopped selling the I stopped uh, clothes now. I was just selling shoes, but I had a guy who used to do the delivery for me. After ordering, I had a guy who used to do delivery. So, so one day I was just at home, and I thought like uh, that was way back uh, in 20, 2017, end of 2017, let me say because my baby was some months old now i was like i have this idea why can't i just be making uh uji porridge because uh i know how to make a nice porridge and uh i cook nice mandazis so i was like why can't i just be doing this and then i cook lunch you know, at our place where I live, there are so many banks, there are so many people there, even the Buddha guys, even the, the shop people, they don't have food, like uh, mostly they don't buy food from the, from the restaurants. So that is how I had a business idea. Uh, and I looked for a girl who, was a, who, who used to come in the morning in my house 
cook we cook a uh, uji and do some mandazis and then she'll go and deliver to the guys so first times i used to go by myself we go together by the way because i had to find clients so one day i i went to kamkunji i told habi we go to kamkunji and that is how i bought these cups yeah these cups for uji but then people used to buy that is how i bought these cups from kamkunji and some spoons yeah for the for the uji so people used to people used to love my uji and then i ordered a lot of uh, flour porridge from uh, shags <laughs> yeah and people used to drink my uji guys so i used to go and um, find some clients in the banks the Buddha guys, the people in the kiosk, in the, in the shops. So I sell myself and the mandasis. I tell them they are sweet, what, what, and by the way, they used to buy. So I just wake up in the morning, cook, and then when that, uh, that girl comes, she'll just go and deliver to the people because it is not even far. You just walk, uh, just like a five minute walk. You are there and then you, you you do your business. Now that is how I ended up with these cups. So every time I jump them far away and remain like uh, with two. And uh, I don't know, I just find like uh, I've just returned them here again. So I was looking at them and I was like, oh my god, there are so many here. It's like we don't have cups. And you find like a... Uh, most of the time you don't even use your your favorite cups you just grab this and then you take whatever you want to take yeah so guys uh about this uh, story let me say you can there's no way you can you can stop looking for money because for me i had a small baby in the house so i used to wake up cook and then I have this girl deliver and I had made sure like uh, in this business I have to make profit. I have to make a profit. I have to pay this girl and then make some money also. And uh, yeah, and then uh, have some profit, have some money for myself. And then I have this, uh, my shoe business also. So I have to find orders. And then I'll send this guy to go and uh, get the shoes and then deliver. And that is how I used to make my money when I, I had a small baby. Because most of the time I was like, I can't start moving a lot because I don't have a, a house. So that is how I used to make money. That is kind of a this uh that is kind of a motivation story guys because uh most of the times we have so many excuses of uh not getting out not going to find something to do like uh i don't have so much money to start a uh, business i don't have this and this i don't have a uh, maybe a house help uh, maybe my kids are small yeah it's so stressful but now imagine we can do it if you just manage your time and yourself well you can do it you can you can just do anything because nowadays uh there are so many uh like most of the people are doing online shopping you say whatever you have and someone else buys it doesn't have to be so far away you might find like uh, there's something missing around where you live or oh, the people you live around they need something and that is how you start your business you don't have to have that large amount of money so that you can start a business you start small you start small start with what you have as long as you have that uh, you have to have the right to do it you just have to you do it yeah so today i wanted to tell you 
for guys like uh, especially for young mothers you can do anything by the way sometimes you you may see like it's so hard like where will you start how will you start uh, how will you start doing it but uh, it's so easy it's so simple you just have to be confident and know what you want like uh, i want to make money even though i want something bigger start small you don't sit there to wait for that something big to come start small start doing things before even if you want to go to school first you need money to for your daily life like life has to go on each and every day you have to eat you have to dress up you have to look good you see but you have to work hard you have to work hard before that thing that big thing you need comes your way so don't just sit there and feel like uh you have you, you don't have something to do and then guys um also have you ever noticed like uh, you can do volunteer work yes if you just look around in your community there is a lot people have uh, we have this uh the cbo's these small organizations maybe they feed people maybe they go clean for for people people have uh, like uh, homes they have the rescue centers for the children yeah if you just look around at your community very well you'll find these things they are there now what you do is if maybe you are just there and maybe you are you're more, you're, whatever you want to do maybe it's about uh you want to join an organization someday or before you get that uh more knowledge about uh how the cbo's how these organizations work you just go there and do volunteer work and maybe you start doing these small courses uh, like uh, community community they're called community what community something yeah if you find those courses you can do those courses and uh small small you start small small one time you just find yourself there so guys visit your community see what they need even the churches most churches are uh, i like sitam because sitam church uh i like sitam church by the way because it brings people closer even the youth they are so very good at uh, organizing uh, events and uh, even games for every even bible study for every every group like every age group the small kids from five years or from i don't know five years to ten years preteens the teenagers the college going guys they have to have something to do so that is why i like sitam because uh, they engage people in their in their lives as a church so guys let me finish doing this uh the dishes and then i'll see if i have the energy to wash the the shoes i have very many shoes to be cleaned and i don't like cleaning shoes because of the matope so let me finish doing the dishes i have with, I, I i hope you have learned something or you learned something or you get something out of what I've just said and uh, maybe what I've just what I'm doing